Hello, dear student. Welcome back to our MyEco B1, B2 Intermediate Level English Lessons. The topic of our fifth lesson is regular and irregular verbs in the simple past tense. So, let's begin. To make the second form or the past tense form of a verb, we add ed endings. These verbs where we just add our ed endings are called regular verbs. For example, play, verb one, played, verb two, past, and played for verb three, past participle. Like, liked, liked. Open, opened, opened. Add, added, added. Work, worked, worked. Remember, we know that the second form, the past tense of a verb, is only in positive sentences. So that means our structure is I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, our subject, plus verb E, D. The form three or the verb three past participle is used in our perfect tenses. So future perfect tense, past perfect tense, and tenses like this, which we will see in upcoming lessons. With regular verbs, the ed ending is added according to certain rules that we follow. Let's have a look at those rules. Rule number one. If I have a word and my word finishes with the letter e and before my e I have a consonant, then all I do is add d. Note, noted. Arrive, arrived. Decide, decided. Rule number two. If my word finishes in a Y and before my Y I have a consonant, then the Y becomes I-E-D. Carry, carried. Try, tried. Study, studied. Rule number three. If my word ends in a Y and before my Y I have a vowel, A, E, I, O, U, then all I do is add E, D. Play, played. Stay, stayed. Enjoy, enjoyed. Rule number four. If my word ends in a consonant and before my consonant I have a vowel, then I double the last letter and add ed. For example, hug, g is a consonant and u is a vowel. So it becomes hugged, double g, ed. Plan, becomes planned, double N, E, D. Stop becomes stopped, double P, E, D. Rule number five. If my word has two syllables and the emphasis, the tone, is on the second syllable, then I double the last letter and add ed. For example, refer, refer. The emphasis and tone is on fur. So it becomes referred, 
Double R E D. Commit. Committed. Double T E D. Travel. Traveled. Double L E D. Cancel. Cancelled. Double L E D. Rule number six. If I have a word made of two syllables, but the emphasis, the tone, is on the first syllable, then I change nothing and add ed. Listen, listen, emphasis is on the lis, becomes listened, ed. Visit becomes visited, ed. Happen becomes happened, ed. Depart becomes departed, ed. Now, apart from these rules that I've given to you already, it is good enough to just add ed to the end of regular verbs to get our past tense or our verb to. In English, our ed ending for regular verbs is important, but so is our pronunciation. This pronunciation also follows some rules. If our verb ends with a k, p, s, ch, sh, f, and these kind of consonant sounds, then the ed at the end becomes like a t sound. Smashed, smashed. Kissed, kissed. Washed, washed. Look, looked. Hiss, hissed. Stop, stopped. Reach, reached. Laugh, laughed. There is a T sound that happens when I pronounce the words. If our verb ends with L, V, N, B, and these kind of consonants, then the sound that I pronounce sounds like D. A sign, assigned. Save, saved. Absorb, absorbed. Call, called. Abandon, abandoned. Clean, cleaned. Play, played. Smell, smelled. If our verb ends with T and D, then the sound is like ud. Accept, accepted. Wait, waited. Act, acted. Need, needed. Decide, decided. Add, added. Want, wanted and spit, spitted. All of these different pronunciations may seem unnecessary, but they are really important when it comes to sounding as clear and as enunciated as possible when speaking English. In English, there are some verbs that don't follow any of the regular verb rules, or structures. We call these irregular verbs. Irregular verbs change and vary a lot and so the best way to know them is to memorize them. It may seem like a lot but trust me over time it becomes like second nature. Just like regular verbs, Irregular verbs are used in the form one, verb one form, 
for questions and negative sentences. Always remember that. Now, we have a whole lot of irregular verbs for you and we've grouped them. Let's start with group one. Group one has verbs that are written and pronounced the same in their verb one, verb two, and verb three forms. Bet, let, burst, put, cost, quit, cut, shut, fit, which can also be fitted, spit, which can also be spitted, hit, spread, hurt, upset, and red. Here with read, we have an interesting one. In verb one, it is read, but in verb two and verb three, it is red like the color. Only in pronunciation though. In writing, they are all exactly the same. Group two of irregular verbs are verbs that have an EN ending in their verb three form. Hide, hid, hidden. Awake, awoke, awoken. Bite, bit, bitten. Prove, proved, proven. Break, broke, broken. Ride, rode, ridden. Choose, chose, chosen. Rise, rose, risen. Drive, drove, driven. Shake, shook, shaken. Eat, ate, eaten. Speak, spoke, spoken. Fall, fell, fallen. Steal, stole, stolen. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Swell, swelled, swollen. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Wake, woke or waked, woken. Get, got, gotten. Write, wrote, written. Give, gave, given. Group three are verbs that are written with an A in the verb to form, but a U in the verb three form. Begin, began, begun. Shrink, shrank, shrunk. Drink, drank, drunk. Sing, sang, sung. Ring, rang, rung. Sink, sank, sunk. Run, ran, run. And swim, swam, swum. Group four are irregular verbs that are written the same in the second and third form. Bend, bent, bent. Mislay, mislaid, mislaid. Bleed, bled, bled. Pay, paid, paid. Bring, brought, brought. Read, read, read. Build, built, built. 
say, said, said, burn, burnt, burnt, seek, sought, sought, buy, bought, bought, sell, sold, sold, catch, caught, caught, send, sent, sent, dig, dug, dug, feed, fed, fed, sit, sat, sat, feel, felt, felt, sleep, slept, slept, fight, fought, fought, slide, slid, slid, find, found, found, sneak, snucked or sneaked, flee, fled, fled, speed, sped or speeded, grind, ground, ground, spend, spent, hang, hung, spin, spun, have, had, stand, stood, hear, heard, stick, stuck, hold, held, sting, stung, keep, kept, strike, struck, lay, laid, sweep, swept, lead, led, swing, swung, leave, left, light, lit or lighted, think, thought, lose, lost, teach, taught, understand, understood, make, made, weep, wept, mean, meant, win, won, and meet, met. Group five are irregular verbs that end with an N in their form three. Blow, blue, blown. See, saw, seen. Do, did, done. Swear, swore, sworn. Draw, drew, drawn. Tear, tore, torn. Fly, flew, flown. Throw, through, thrown. Grow, grew, grown. Wear, wore, worn. Know, knew, known. Withdraw, withdrew, withdrawn. Lie, lay, lane. An important mention for our last one, lie can also be used in two ways. Lie down and lie as in to say something untrue. If I am using lie as in to say something untrue, then I can just say lied, ed, like a regular verb. Group six, are irregular verbs that are written in the same way in verb one and verb three form. Become, 
became become. Come came come. Run ran run. Group seven are verbs that are completely different in all three forms. Be, was, were, been, go, went, gone. And group number eight are verbs that take the irregular form and the regular ed ending. Yes. So these are some verbs that can be in both groups. Burn, burned, burnt. Dream, dreamed, dreamt. Smell, smelled, smelt. Kneel, kneeled, knelt. Spill, spilled, spilt. Lean, leaned, lent. Spoil, spoiled, spoilt. While both of these forms are acceptable in the regular and irregular verbs, we can see the ED form is quite popular in American English, while the irregular form is quite popular in British English. And there you have it. That's a lot of information I know about our regular and irregular verbs in the simple past tense. Don't worry, with lots of practice and over time, you will know them naturally. For now, let's do an activity together to make sure we all understand. Here we have some sentences and we need to see if the verbs are regular or irregular. Number one, the administration cancelled the meeting. Cancelled ED is regular. Two, the housekeeper swept the floors. Swept is irregular. Three, Valerie went to Brazil last month. Went is irregular. Four, my grandmother hugged me tightly and kissed my cheeks. Hugged is regular. The plane to Pekin departed two hours ago. Departed is regular. Number six, the old lady wore a smart black dress with a white flower on her chest. War is irregular. Number seven, I ran after Mike, but I couldn't catch him. Ran is irregular. Number eight, Michael Jackson died on the 25th of June, 2009. Died is regular. Number nine, she absorbed the water on the table with a piece of sponge. Absorbed, ED, is regular. Number 10, Mary split the bread. Split is irregular. And now our fifth lesson is complete. To get more information on this topic, please click the links down below. If you wish, you can purchase our B1, B2 Essential English Grammar Book, sign up for our course on our Udemy page, or go to our My Eco website and purchase one of our education packages to receive more activities and their solutions. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.